Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. It feels like it's been so long since we last spoke. How are you all doing? The nights are long during this time of year and we've had some very cold snowy days this past month. But honestly, I love it so much. I love the moment when the day turns to night and everything's blue and the snow is silently falling all around. It's just so magical. I've been moving pretty slow these past weeks, just really enjoying how calm the winter has been here. This past year was a year filled with so much movement and activity and now I'm just finding so much peace just spending these days in the quiet of the mountains. What I love most about the winter is how bright the stars are when it gets really cold. It reminds me of when I was a child. I feel like back then the stars were so much brighter. I've noticed over these past years the stars, I don't know, they just don't feel as bright as they used to be. It kind of makes me a little sad. Mmm. Mmm, a warm coffee on a cold day. How are we all doing? Wow, I feel like I haven't spoken to you all in so long. Um, Nothing much has changed in my life, honestly. <laughs> I've just been in full-on hibernation here in the mountains. It's been very cold. Oof, it has been cold and lots of snow and my body has just been really telling me, Isabel, it is time to move a little slower. So <laughs> that's what I've been doing. I've just been kind of taking things really slow and this winter has been so beautiful here. Oh, my heart, the snow falling onto the trees and the long nights. Oh, I just, I love nighttime. I feel like there's some sort of magic that happens in the winter time at night. The stars are so bright and you just take these like deep breaths of this fresh cold air and it's just, oh, it's just amazing. So these past weeks, not much has changed to be honest. I've spent a lot of time cozy inside baking pies and waking up extra early to spend time in the dark. And maybe for the first time in years, just fully embracing the cold season instead of trying to run away from it. As a society, we don't really put any value on rest, but I think it's equally as important as movement and creation. We need the dark in order to have the light. Now that the days are getting longer, I feel like we're getting closer and closer to spring. Um, my goal for the spring is I want to sew an entire collection of clothes, like a spring wardrobe. I don't know, I really need some new clothes and I was shopping online the other day and I thought to myself, these are really expensive and I could literally just make these dresses myself. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I went online to find some inspiration for what I want these clothes to look like. I really like the vibe of puffy long sleeve dresses with aprons over the top of them. And I basically found the image of what I wanted to copy exactly. Thank <laughs> you. 
I taught myself to sew a couple of years ago, actually, and over time I've made quite a bit of mistakes and <laughs> I've realized a couple of important things about sewing your own clothes. One of the main things is if you really want your clothes to last, you really need to double line everything. What I mean by that is create two layers in order to hide all of the seams between both layers. A lot of things I've made in the past have unraveled a bit. Okay, so here you can see I am double lining the top of the dress that I'm sewing. I also think doing this makes clothes drape in a better way. And now I'm just trying on the top to make sure it fits, which I'm so glad it does because I was a little scared it was going to be too small. Okay, so now I have finished the dress, but I feel like it's too short. So I am going to add another ruffle layer to the bottom of it in order to lengthen it. So this week I was getting settled back into my life here in the mountains. I spent a couple of weeks away with family on a little vacation in Idaho. And when I got back home, I had seriously nothing in the kitchen or the pantry. I had cleaned out the fridge before I left. So this week I've just been kind of prepping a lot of things. Um, right now I am making a really simple batch of granola. I just added some chopped almonds and pecans along with some oats. Oh, and I also added my sourdough starter, which is something I've never done before, but it actually turned out so good. I didn't really taste any difference, to be honest, but it's nice to add something fermented to the granola. Okay, so this year when the new year happened, I did not make a single resolution because if I'm being honest, every year they just never really work for me. Like I just don't stick to them. And then I inevitably feel really bad about myself when I don't follow through with my resolutions. Then I realized something this year. I feel like January is probably the worst time out of the entire year to make a change in our life. Firstly, it's one of the darkest months of the year. And with very little sunlight for me, it's very hard to be super motivated. Um, I find myself a lot more tired in the winter and I just think in general during January nature is still in the middle of winter and I feel like it's against our own nature to make changes during this time. So I am going to wait until the spring sun comes back just because when the days start to get brighter and warmer I naturally want to move my body more and make changes in my life. Also, in the deepest part of winter, I really do feel like I should still be resting and gathering strength for the coming year. I just think it goes against the cycles of nature to start something new in the month of January. So I am making a pie right now with a crumble top using some local pears that I have. In winter, since there's not much in season, it can sometimes be difficult for me to get excited about cooking, but this turned out so yummy. It has a traditional pie crust on the bottom, but then the top is a crumble, so it's like the best of everything in my opinion. Today, I also made a loaf of sourdough bread, and I don't think I've talked about this much yet, but I have been milling my own flour, which, okay, so here's the thing about fresh milled flour. It tastes so much better. Like seriously, you guys, both me and Logan noticed a huge difference. Apparently also when you mill your own flour, it retains a lot more of the nutrients. And I kind of feel like the sourdough likes it better. And what I mean by that is I am getting a better rise in my loaves. Even when I make 100% whole wheat, it still rises quite a bit. Okay, so I finished the dress and now I'm working on the apron, which I'm just going to use this white linen that I already have in order to make it. It was actually pretty simple to make. I used a pattern that I already have and just added a ruffle to the sides. I'm honestly really happy with how both of these things turned out. I wish the dress was a little tighter on the bodice, but I 
was pretty surprised I was able to replicate the vision I had fairly well. Oh, also, I made this little head wrap out of some extra fabric I had. I'm going to work on something new every week until the spring starts just because I have tons of time before the snow melts and I'm really excited to see what else I can make to add to this little spring wardrobe collection. When it's snowing like this at night, it is so silent and just oh, amazing. I love these long nights in winter. It's just like oh, the best feeling in the world. It feels like the whole world is asleep while I'm just here sitting in the snow. <laughs> you can like kind of hear the snow falling on the earth just ever so slightly. <gasps> It's so beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow. So this morning I have some muffin dough that I have been fermenting overnight. Basically you can ferment any dough overnight. Just mix the dough and it doesn't matter what recipe you use. I just add sourdough starter to any regular recipe and then I let it ferment all night and then the morning you add baking powder and baking soda and you just cook it how you normally would. Right now I am making a crumble using more of my sourdough starter and I will sprinkle. Honestly, in my opinion, everything tastes better when it's fermented. I also feel like it adds an extra fluff to things that is super nice. So I'll be honest with you guys, I've been feeling really uninspired lately. I think it's mostly because of the winter and the fact that I haven't seen the sun in almost a month, but that's why I haven't posted a video in a while. I've kind of been having a really hard time here. Life in a small house is fine when the weather is warm and I can go outside easily. But during the winter months, I start to go a little crazy in such a small space. That's the reason why I normally leave every year. I don't really mind the cold. It's just how small this space is. It makes me go a little crazy. My dream of all dreams in life is to one day have a house with a indoor bathroom and real plumbing. I don't even know what I would do with myself if I got that. I think I would just be crying tears of happiness every day. <sighs> but also when I find myself wishing for a better life, I also think it's important to really acknowledge all the good in our lives. It can get easy to get caught up in our dreams and Forget about all the good things that we already have right now in this moment. Just the fact that I have my health and the love and support from my family, clean water to drink, and enough food in my belly. It's obviously okay to dream of something better, but at the same time, by getting those things, I don't necessarily think it will make us any happier. Because truly, happiness comes from within. Some of the richest people I know are the most unhappy people I know. Obviously, that isn't the case if you are literally trying to survive, then definitely money can help give us a sense of safety and happiness. But beyond our own survival, getting that fancy car or boat or house or whatever it may be, might just distract us even further from what's really important. The more we own, the more complicated our life gets. So it's always good for me to remind myself of those things. And I also just want to say thank you to all of you so much from the bottom of my heart for continuing to support me and watch these videos. And thank you to all of you who take the time out of your day to send me kind messages. I just want you all to know that I read every single message I get. I might not have time to respond to all of them, but I just want to say thank you for all of it. It is such a pleasure to be able to have this job. And yeah, I can't wait to see what unfolds in this next year. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. This is the best thing you've ever made. Mm. 
Anyways, you guys, thank you all so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you all next week. Okay, bye bye.